Good afternoon, this is uh, Khaled Hamiye with Liberman Futures and today I will be giving you a walk through CQG Trader. This is something uh, that I do with all my clients and all my prospects before they even uh, do their first trade. But recently we have gotten so many inquiries to the uh, two-week free simulated trading on, on CQG and I think this uh, webinar would be a great tool for uh, prospective clients and for online traders that traded stocks but never used a futures trading platform today. So to get started all you have to do is go to our webpage at Lieberman.com and click on the two weeks of free simulated trading. Fill out the form and automatically you will get uh, you will receive a login uh, password and the link to download our uh, CQG trader provided by Liberman Futures. Once you have done that uh, and launched the software, you'll uh, get to this screen where you put the uh, username provided, the password, click the demo the system and hit the login mm -hmm. button and let's see, invalid user. Let's try it one more time. One sec. One second. I'm just trying to find the password again. So all I'm going to do is just copy, paste the login, copy, and paste the password from the demo. Login. And hopefully it's going to work this time around. Okay, success at last. So now we have the CQG uh, trader open. You probably would not have any of those boxes filled. when you log in. Essentially there's three elements to this platform. You have what we call the ladder or the dome trader on the left hand side, the codes board, and you have this section here where it shows you the working orders uh, and reports related to the account. Uh, first thing you need to do is to put the instruments that you're uh, you're looking to monitor here. For example, I monitor the currencies and we could start by the euro which is EU6. And you hit enter, the system automatically brings the front month. Uh, same thing for the pound, British pound, BP6. And BP6. All right, forget about the pound, SF6. Oh, okay. I forgot. This is a demo, so not not all the instruments are enabled to uh, to be traded in the, at the demo. So, but the euro is enabled, as you will see. To the E mini S M P, which is E P, is enabled. The mini Dow Y M is enabled, and here we have crude oil is enabled, C L E, and gold. GCE is enabled. Uh, Australian dollar. Let's let's move this here to the currency. So we have DA6. So and I believe wheat is enabled on the demo, which is ZWE. I guess not. It's not enabled. So to get an idea. The way I like to structure my board is I put the currencies in one section, I put the indices in one section, uh, the metals, and then uh, energies are here. You see if you click on the euro, it brings it to the uh, dome trader and now on the dome you see a bunch of numbers in red, bunch of numbers in green and you have a ladder. This is the price scale and what you see in the red are the offers at this price level. So right now there's six contracts offered at 136.50 on the euro, 
while 22 are bid at 136.49. Uh, you want to change the instrument, you double click on the uh, next instrument you want to choose. For example, this one here is the uh, Aussie dollar or the E-mini S&P. As you can see, it's a very liquid market, it, the E-mini S&P. At almost every price level, there's about uh, 2,000 contracts uh, offered or bid. All right, let's get to the fun part now. Placing orders, buying and selling, making money or losing money. So uh, <laughs> uh, let's say we want to place a market order. What makes CQG very easy to use is with one click, you could buy one E-mini S&P at the market. And as soon as you hit the buy, you will see that you, you will get a confirmation of the fill. It'll tell you the exact instrument that you bought, the price, the order, what time, uh, what time was it the order was placed, how many seconds did it take to get filled. And if you see on this one here, this order was placed at 3.36, 30 seconds and 4 or 3 parts of a second. It got filled at 3.36, 30 seconds and dot 4.70 of a second. So it took way less than one second to uh, to get sent to the market and get filled and you having the uh, the fill report back. The same thing you could do with the sell. You could either sell it or the, at the market or you could join an offer to sell it at the market. If you join the offer to sell, you're just basically joining the best offer right now. Uh, you might, you might not get filled. But at least if you do that, you, you would be saving yourself a tick if you get filled at that price. If you really want to get exit, uh, exit the market, might as well just click here, take it to market. Yes, now your order is a market order and it got filled. If you want to place limit or stop orders, it's a snap with CQG. All you have to do, for example, on the E-mini S&P if Let's say we want to place a stop sell, a limit sell at 121, uh, at 1211.75. All you have to do is get to that price level, move it to the right here, and it'll ask you, do you want to sell one uh, E-mini S&P at uh, 1211.75? You hit yes, you have a limit order working. You want to change the price, all you have to do is drag it down, you could modify it to 12.11 even, or you could drag it up and modify it to, for example, uh, 12.13.75. If you want to place a stop order, all you have to do is pick the uh, price level, move it to the left. That's a stop buy now. So the system recognizes if your order is a stop or a uh, limit order based on that price level. Uh, canceling the order is a snap too. All you have to do is one click, you could cancel it. Placing OCO orders using this button here is a snap. Uh, on the reports section, you will get uh, what you will see is a report of the daily activity. What positions do you have open? If you click on the orders, you will see all the orders that got filled. Or if you have any parked orders, you will see them here. Canceled all orders will be there. And if there's any exceptions in the orders, like a rejected order, it'll be there. So uh, it's very informative for a day trader to, uh, uh, you could keep track of all your trading in, uh, in one unique place. And it's a snap to uh, export to Excel. All you have to do is just click on the corner here, right click copy all and then paste it in Excel and do that on a daily basis. This way you'll have uh, uh, an Excel file of all your uh, trading activity throughout the years. Some of the uh, more advanced features of CQG is you could change the preferences. For example, uh, you could set uh, minimum order sizes. Let's say you want to set a limit to yourself that you only want to trade one or two contracts at a time. 
you could do that from here. So every time you exceed that position, you'll get a warning. It's not going to stop you from filling if your margin allows. It's not going it's, it's to disallow you from placing a trade of three lots, but it'll just give you a, a notification that you are exceeding your limit. Uh, on the uh, PNL, you could tell CQG to calculate the PNL by the last trade or by the best bid and ask. I think the best bid and ask will give you a more accurate uh, figure of your uh, PNL. And you could either uh, choose the FIFO inner day or the FIFO method. And the FIFO inner day is just, it will take the trades that, it will offset the trades that you did throughout the day first and leave the trades that you did prior to that to last. And if you just hit the FIFO method, it's just go for the first trade that you did, that you have open, uh, regardless of the date you placed the trade. You could also uh, place trades using the uh, keyboard, and this is this is the shortcuts to the keyboards. You could find it here in the help section. Uh, the symbols, this is one of the most common questions that I get when uh, showing a client or prospect uh, the uh, software. Well, how do I know the symbols? Uh, on the help section here, if you go to symbol list, a uh, PDF file will open and it will have all the symbols for all the exchanges. Uh, but at Lieberman, we, for every client, before they even place their first trade, we give them the same walkthrough. We uh, we ask them what what instruments do they monitor. I personally go in and give them all uh, the symbols for the instruments they monitor. Make sure that they're comfortable with the system and uh, if possible, walk them through the first trade so uh, they're completely comfortable trading on the CQG. It is a very powerful platform. I recommend all active traders to use it. And at Lieberman, it's uh, one of the flagship platforms that uh, our traders use. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this presentation about CQG Trader. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call me at 212-383-9453. Again, the phone number is 212-383-9453. And if you need the uh, login credentials to, uh, to a demo platform, you could also go to our webpage, www.liberman.com, and just fill out the uh, two-week free trial form. I look forward to uh, speaking with you and good luck trading. Take care.